Uh, thank you for coming. Um, I'm here today to provide an update in relation to Task Force Southern and in particular the murder of Robert Atkins. Robert was reported missing uh, to police by his mother in January of 2021. His mother had not heard from him for some two months. <coughs> today, Major Crime have arrested five people in relation, in relation to Robert's murder and unlawful detention. The investigation has been long and challenging and as the prosecution is in its, in its infancy, I won't be able to give you too much detail today to ensure I don't prejudice any court proceedings. What we will, will allege though is that Robert was held under physical and coercive control between the 8th and the 16th of November 2020. He was held at locations at Christie's Downs, North Plimpton and Seaford. During that period he was subjected to a number of physical assaults and he was then last known to be alive in the mid-north on the 16th of November and on that day we believe he was murdered and subsequently buried in the mid-north. Those arrested today are a 32-year-old male at Yatla Labor Prison who has been charged with murder, unlawful detention and one count of causing harm with intent, a 32-year-old male from Christie's Downs who has been charged with unlawful detention and two counts of causing harm with intent, a 43-year-old male at the Adelaide Remand Centre for unlawful detention and one count of causing harm with intent, a 25-year-old female at the Adelaide Women's Prison for unlawful detention and two counts of causing harm with intent, also a 33-year-old male at the Adelaide Remand Centre for procuring a person to cause another person, to, sorry, a 30-year-old male at Adelaide Remand Centre for procuring a person to cause harm to another person and procuring the unlawful detention of another person. All those people um, will be charged this evening and bail will be refused and it's anticipated that they'll appear in the Adelaide Magistrates Court tomorrow. The investigation into Robert's murder is ongoing and we are still investigating the role of other people in the disposal of his body or those that have assisted in his unlawful detention and assaults and subsequent murder. In particular, we're still investigating those that have been involved in disposing of evidence in relation to his murder, and in particular, a firearm and ammunition in the mid-north of South Australia. I'd like to make it clear that those that are assisting the offenders in this murder, that there is a 10-year term of imprisonment, or a term of imprisonment up to 10 years, for those that are found guilty of assisting an offender, should a person be convicted of Robert's murder. Also, I'd like to say that should a conviction be obtained for Robert's murder and his body not be recovered, when we are lawfully able to, it's our intention to invoke the Correctional Services Act, the, uh, in common terms, the no body, no parole rule, where if the offender, if convicted, that doesn't cooperate with police, they can't be afforded parole from the parole board without cooperation. We're seeking any further information in relation to Robert's murder um, and his unlawful detention. We're aware that there are people in the community that have further information that haven't yet come forward or given us a full account, and we ask those people to come forward and assist us with locating his remains. Task Force Southern will be continuing and is ongoing in relation to the murders of Jeff Mundy and the murder, assault and unlawful detention of Trevor King. To date, South Australian Police have received excellent, um, excellent support from the community and we've received 185 Crime Stoppers reports. We've also had 33 people arrested on 88 occasions for offences of drug trafficking, unlawful detention or imprisonment, serious assaults and perverting the course of justice. In total, a total of, 208, sorry, in total, a total of 283 charges have been laid against those 33 people. We've also recovered 43 firearms, 10 people have been charged with possession of firearms and two persons have been charged with trafficking of firearms. I remind anyone with information that a reward of up to $200,000 still exists for information that may lead to a conviction in relation to the murder of Robert, Jeffrey or Trevor, or information that results in the recovery of Trev sorry, information that results in the recovery of Robert's or Jeff's body. I ask anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. I'll now take any questions. Have those that you have arrested been cooperative with you? 
uh, as this uh, is in its infancy and the prosecution is just commencing, um, I can't comment as to say whether anyone has or hasn't cooperated with the police. Can you just reiterate how important it is that they cooperate in terms of perhaps getting additional sentence? I can't comment in relation to that, but what I can say is for those that we know have assisted in the offence or assisted in disposing of evidence in relation to um, Robert's murder, I ask those people to come forward and speak with the police. Should someone be convicted for Robert's murder and people are found guilty of assisting those offenders, there is a term of imprisonment of up to 10 years. Will you launch another search of that area of Orleans? Yeah, we're hoping that today's arrest will um, allow other people, give them the comfort to come forward and speak to the police because they know that the investigation has been successful to date and um, we'll certainly be seeking further evidence. Our priority is to locate Robert's remains um, and allow him a dignified burial with his family. So I, I ask the public, if anyone does have information that could lead to the location of Robert's remains, to contact us and uh, we'll certainly assess that information and prioritise those searches. Yeah, it's, it's been an extremely large task force. Um, it's had up to 41 um, detectives, uniform members, uh, field intelligence officers and analysts work on the um, investigation. Because of the nature of it and the amount of offending that's occurred and the disruption that we've uh, caused, in particular to ensure public safety, um, it is a complex investigation. The investigators have been extremely determined and we're still extremely determined to bring outcomes to the other families uh, where we haven't currently laid charges. Do you think other lives have been saved by this investigation? And what is the nature of, of the people you're talking about and what the crimes they committed? How, how brutal? I can't comment on the brutality of the crimes now that we have matters before the court, but it's clearly evident to us that um, as a result of intervention that's, a cause, that's a, occurred throughout this investigation, that we have prevented uh, public violence and ensure the public ensure the safety of the public. Do you think other lives have been saved? It's very difficult to say. I, I can't sort of inform you in that regard, but what I can say is we have arrested people for serious assaults. We have arrested people for blackmail. We have arrested people for perverting the course of justice. Um, that's all extremely serious offending. And any time that we can do that, and ensure that those people aren't within the community. Um, that's a real positive. But can you confidently say that the, the drug trafficking and the violence that was happening in the southern suburbs has been severely disrupted by the investigation? Um, without going to detail, there's no doubt with the number of arrests and the nature of the arrests and the seizures um, that we have caused disruption um, in that environment. Do you believe there will be any further arrests or anyone else charged for you for the acts in this murder? Um, as I said earlier, we are still investigating Robert's murder. Um, we are certainly pursuing the role of a couple of other people in assisting, um, assisting the disposal of evidence, in particular through the Mid-North region, um, and in particular the disposal of firearm and ammunition. Um, so we are confident that if we continue to work on this, there will be further arrests in relation to this investigation.